because of my camera. It should just open on my thing. <laughs> You've had it for three seconds. Did you just put it inside your purse? I don't know. I did, I did, I did. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just keep the ticket out. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry, right, you're in charge. Okay, thank you. I was like, no, like, he's, I was so protected. He's clearly not a swear on the channel. <laughs> oh. Mate, what the fuck? Pull over, Al. What the fuck? Pull over. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't even know anymore. Um, is this video a week late? Yes, it probably is. Uh, I recorded this a week ago Tuesday, so today is Wednesday, so it's eight days late. Um, but I just genuinely haven't had a single second to edit it with Hallie starting nursery and with returning to work and with life. It has just been chaos. So I've started to edit it now, hated the intro that I did. So I'm just going to do a very, very, very short intro to come along on a drive with me and with Ellie whilst we answer some questions on motherhood and the half marathon and a couple of random things in between. Um, yeah, so come along with us. I'm going to keep this intro very short because pff, otherwise it won't be up till next year. Come along with us for a drive and we'll answer a few Thank questions. You. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure like that's just a flap now. <laughs> Questions. Yes. But I think maybe you should answer them what happened when you had Alf. Yeah. Versus like t today's guidance. I was thinking that the other day, like if ever I was to have another baby. <laughs> The parenting police would be out They'd because be it's, on all, me. it's all different. Honestly, I think the parenting police would be on me. Okay. So and I, I'd need your advice. I'd be like, what do I do? But then that might be completely different again. Yeah. One question that I got asked, and I was a bit like, I don't know if I have them. And I don't know if, like, I don't know if you have them or if maybe you have them now because Alf is at school. Yeah. But somebody said, like, how do you meet mum friends? But I don't think I have mum friends. I think my friends have had babies at a similar time to me. So I didn't really have mum friends when Alfie was at nursery because it literally was just such a quick, like, drop off. Yeah. Pick up. Like, I'd be like, hello. Yeah. But they weren't like, I didn't ever engage in them, like, do stuff with them. Yes. It's got better. Like, now he's at school. Like, we all speak in the playgrounds. Like, you, I have more mum friends. I think you're there for a bit longer in the playground, yeah. aren't you? And we and have a WhatsApp group chat that we, like, discuss all things school. Like, and it's so helpful. And I think you also have the clubs. Yes. Or, like, the breakfast club, the after-school club, the football yeah. club. Parties. You, parties. Whereas at nursery, thing. they don't really do that sort of stuff. No. So, I think... I, I think, like... You'll meet some, like, nice people, but I don't ever think it was, like, you would just drop it <laughs> I told you we didn't need him. Yeah, and I think maybe sometimes there's a... I don't know, there's a thing, like, you've got to have mum friends. And I don't think I, you really do. I don't think you do. I, d I honestly didn't at Tiggers when Alfie was at nursery. I did not have mum friends there. I don't think you've got time for them. No, you don't. But you're working, you're busy, like, definitely at school you will have, like, a little mum club. Yeah. But then the children are at an age where they can tell you that they want to interact with And they do other. play dates, that's the thing. You do, like, yeah. your play dates and stuff. Whereas, at Hallie's age now, like, she's not going to do play dates and stuff. No. So I don't think I've got mum friends. No. I think, coincidentally, my friends have had, or Josh's definitely. friends and their partners yeah. have had children at the same time. But I, I went to, like, pregnancy Pilates to get mum friends but I never did I have like more mum friends now yeah now Alfie's at school than I did when Alfie was younger yeah I don't think mum friends exist no I don't or if they do I'm alone I think most mum friends are like literally because yeah your friends have had yeah babies yeah and, like Which I wasn't lovely. in a way none of my friends had really had babies no not the same time that I'd had no so I think I was yeah. a Larry Loner I don't want the person that put that question there to feel like I've got mum friends, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't, I don't want them to be a loner. No. But yeah, that was question number one about mum friends. Okay. Mm, that's yeah. just, to make my skin look a bit nicer. It's very good. Um, no.
nursery experiences. Okay. So we go to we well, Alfie's obviously not at nursery anymore, but no. we've got two different nurseries as well. I think yes. that's important to say. I think it is. Um similar times because you did four days, didn't you? Yeah, he was in four days. So yeah, like... Hal is in three. Yeah. Um maybe the different experiences that we've you've had or I could foresee having. So we had a conversation the other day where Josh and I think Hallie is a tough kid. The like <laughs> I would be the parent that's like, oh Hallie's bit a child. <laughs> Whereas you would be the parent that was like, oh Alfie's been bit. Alfie was bit a lot. Yeah. Um Alfie was like the soft. Since he was a baby, he'd cry when if any other child cried, Alfie would burst into tears. He was such a sensitive soul, wasn't he? Do you remember now. when you had that period and you couldn't say no? You had to try and find a different way to say <laughs> no. Because he really, really, like, he thought he was really in trouble, didn't he? Didn't he? If anyone said the word no, he would, like, his lip would go, wouldn't he? And it'd even so... be like, do you want a cup of tea? And if you were like, no, thank, no, thank you, you. It, it would, oh. he'd get up. <laughs> Whereas we say no to Hallie, and I know she's only nine months old, but we say no to her and she laughs. Yeah. We, like, shake our head and we're like, no, 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 and she laughs and she yeah. does it anyway. Yeah. So I think as a parent you can have two different experiences yeah. because your children are so different. But I said the pros of Hallie being like that is mm -hmm. that in nursery you have to stand up for yourself. Yeah. There's going to be kids that snatch a toy off her. Yeah. She needs to stand her ground but I know that that's my toy and I was playing with that. Yeah. We did have that on one of the, the induction that I stayed with her. She was sat very nicely playing with this little brick and like putting it in her mouth and stuff mm -hmm. which is probably how they all spread germs. Um, and this little boy came over and took said brick. Okay. Um, and I think maybe like as she gets older, I'm going to use the phrase like use your words because she just grabbed it. <laughs> and I was there. So I like removed her and like got her another toy. Um, but like, is that right? Should I remove her? Should I let her stand up for herself? Well, no, like she was playing with that toy. I know. So then... And, he and she like, can't talk at the moment, so that's her expressing. That is yeah. her saying that I was playing with that toy. Yeah, I want it back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird... Like, but then do you like, think nursery have that? They're like, oh, well, Hallie snatched today. Well, no, I actually, do. she was taking her toy back that she was playing with. Yeah, and at what age does that start? Because, like, at, like you say, at this age, they can't talk. None yeah. of the children can talk. None of the children can communicate. So is it that they just let them go free for all at this age? And then as they get older, they talk about sharing? Yeah. yeah. I know you like you do it now. Like Hallie will start to understand. Like no, we share. Yeah. And they do like in their little brains understand things. Yeah. It's, it's a weird hard. one. It's and really I think hard. I spoke quite openly with the room leader as well, mm -hmm. just on a slightly different note about as a room leader her experience with children that go maybe full time, half time, mm -hmm. one day a week. And that obviously can change a child's experience as well yes. as an adult's experience because you know you'll either be at work full time, half time, or not at all. Um, and I think sometimes maybe when we do make decisions to go back to work, yeah, there are people in society that judge that hugely. Yeah, and I, I think working mums is a big thing I think it's very judged but also more and more people it's becoming the norm yeah I think we're getting better mm -hmm. because there are companies I don't want to name any companies because I feel bad um not I feel bad but like I'm like is that normal's name but I know uh friends of friends who male and female who work for companies and like a paternity leave yeah is six months so I think like it's getting better with allowing the dad's yeah. time off yeah um, and the maternity leave is full pay for a year. So it's like, it's getting yeah. better at, you know, not penalizing you for having no. a child. Um, but when you return, there is judgment sometimes. Yeah. But I have a fear of returning. Um, I was talking to HR about it the other day and somebody making a comment um, of she's soft now she's had a baby not that I was ever tough not that I was ever not soft but I don't want to be I don't know I think you do change just like a mummy I think you do but, but I don't think you necessarily become soft no I become tougher I, so I was because I don't take I, any shit like, I feel like I don't have think. time for it no I don't have time for people's crap yeah when I had Alfie I was like no like he's I was so pretty 
because I can't get childcare and you're like no because I need Tuesday that is one blessing of nursery that it's all year round I loved that and like there's a lot of people that there's some lovely nurseries around where we are yeah but they're term time only and I was like that just doesn't work for me no when you're a working mum like you need that full wraparound cover yeah it can't just be nine till three no so I am glad you've done that yeah where you've put Hallie into a nursery like you won't now have to worry about half terms until she starts school yeah which is good which is really good this is a nightmare yeah how far is it mm -hmm. i think we've got a lot on how far is it i think we've got a lot on it it doesn't make me want to do a marathon though absolutely not no I'm... we have both agreed haven't we we are happy half marathon for us we are that's it done yeah, we're never gonna be we're not we're not runners. We're not these all star runners. No. I um, think if you could do a marathon that is incredible. Any distance yeah. is incredible. Um but I will not be signing up to a marathon after the half marathon, not at all. I've really enjoyed it though, and like we've both said, haven't we? Like after the half marathon we both want to continue running together and we've yeah. both said that if we can do a really nice five K yeah. I hate when people call it an easy 5k. Yeah. So you see it on people post. Yeah. And they go an easy 5k. Because I think actually 5k is a really quite long distance. So I think we take that differently then. Because I oh. would take that as like an easy pace. Whereas you take oh. it as like an easy distance. I do. So I read it on people post. They're like, oh, easy 5k. Yeah. I'm like girl it's not easy no it's not, like i don't think any distance is easy um and i think on tiktok at the minute running's quite a thing i don't know if i'm just doing like running tiktok um it's a big thing but it's it? a big thing and then i think it is becoming normal to be like i'm a slow runner or i'm a short distance yeah. runner or whatever it is but i really enjoy watching those people yeah i do I think I found it hard. I think I found it way harder than what I thought it would be. But yeah. I think, for me, I don't know about you, it's harder mm. mentally than it is physically. Definitely. I think you get to a point where you're like, I can't be bothered mm -hmm. to go on. Physically, we can both do it. Yes. Like, we've done some really good distances, and I know we can do it. Yeah. It is just mentally. If I was doing this on my own, like, I wouldn't. I would, no. 
Yeah. Even if I go for a 5k on my own, mentally, I'm like, I'm gonna stop. I clock watch. Yeah, I do. I'm constantly like looking yeah. like, oh, one and a half k in. Like, and I think I, we both follow, um, I don't know, I think her name's Hannah. Yeah. Um, I can't, I'll have to put her in the comments or something. But she also made a good point, like, just because you stop to walk for like a minute or capture breath doesn't mean you've not run it. No. Like if you if you're doing like the half marathon, what is it, twenty one kilometers, mm -hmm. and over all of it you've collectively walked for a kilometer, that doesn't discredit the twenty that no. you ran for. Definitely not. And I think like that was a big thing for me to get my head around because I thought you and I admire people that run yeah. consistently, but I think I had to get my head around that. I had to, I think I thought in my head like you have to run the mm. entire thing, um, but you don't. No, and we definitely won't. No. No, no, no. We'll do our best. And Absolutely. I think it, there'll be things that help us, like the crowd, mm -hmm. um, the adrenaline on the day, the fact that the route we've done is the flattest. Flat. So, and like round by us, it's so hilly. We can't do as well. No. I also think like when you've got runners with you, like you're not going to stop, are you? Because you're going to be like, oh, well, they're running. I can't stop. Yeah. You have that like competitive. When there's like loads of people with you, you're like, well, we can have to just keep going. Yeah. If I stop, someone's going to run into the back. Yeah. Of yeah. That like pushes you, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's it. I need to order your socks. That's one thing we haven't spoken about. Because you've got the sweaty, is it the sweaty Bessie socks? Like the anti blister ones? They were the ones that Maddie got us for Christmas. Oh, that is them. Yeah. Okay, so I could wear my green ones. Yeah, I've got those. Okay. Um, somebody Ooh. asked us about leggings. I personally only run in one pair of leggings. I wash them, obviously. But I run in the Adenola pocket. I think they're the ultimate pocket leggings. You've got the normal ultimate ones, haven't you? But I like to have my phone in my leg pocket. I don't like it on my vest. I find it too heavy. But you're going to order them, aren't you? Yes. Because if I wear, yeah, I can't really fit it in my vest. No. And I don't think we'll end up wearing our like long sleeved. No. Stuff. Um. So definitely add no like all the leggings we've got are Adenola, aren't they? Yeah, the high waist and they don't fall down. No. Somebody asked me for leggings that don't fall down. So the Adenola ultimate leggings don't fall down. And they're really good fit. I think true to size, I'd say. True to size, yeah. yeah. True to size, that's important. Um, and then other than that, I wear different tops. Yeah, I don't I think I really that wear the stuff. No. I don't think it's a big... The only thing we're saying is it's the end of March and it might actually be a really nice day where it's warm. Yeah. And sometimes I prefer running in shorts when it's warmer. Yeah. But um, then, like, we don't want to get too cold. We don't want to be absolutely boiling. Have you got the shorts? What's he doing? No. There's a van coming. Oh, I thought he was turning. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I've got the shorts as well. So I've got the Adenola shorts yeah. with the side pocket as well. So that's what I need to order now. I'm going to take them with me. Yeah. Um, because I won't want to be hot. But then would you see what the weather's like in the morning and put them, like, to side? Because also you can't, or are you going to actually take... No, I'd see what the weather was like in the yeah. morning. And then that's so you're literally just agreeing in the morning, right, I'm gonna wear shorts today and that's it. Yeah. And I think you need to look I end up looking at like the type of weather. Like I see a cloud and I'm like, oh it's gonna be cold, but it could still be quite mild. <laughs> and then I like dressed up to the nines. Like the other day when it was bright, yeah, and I wore next to nothing and I froze and couldn't <laughs> even get to one kilometre. Okay. So I think you need to look at the temperature. Yes. And I think we look at the temperature from like nine, like when we've just got into the run. Yeah, onwards. Like half past nine. Yeah. See what that temperature is there. Yeah. And then make the decision. Yeah. Okay. But no, once this half marathon is done, I'm 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 done with distance running. Okay. Apart from five k, which is yeah. the distance. We said in the summer, didn't we? We are really excited to do like late night runs. Yeah. Whereas when it's just cool. nicer weather, it's cooler. You're not running in the trenches. No. You're not facing like the wind head on. Um, you've not got to like layer up. I think it's been really hard training for a half marathon in the winter. I've seen a lot on TikToks that also say that. Do they? Yeah, they say like you pick like a springtime date, for example, mm. because you don't want a half marathon in the summer. No. Because that's too hot. You don't want one in the winter because it might be icy or too cold. Mm -hmm. So you pick like spring, but then you have to do all of your training yeah. in like the worst season of the year. So yeah, no, we're ready for it, but we won't be doing another one. No. No way.
I just thought I would do a quick close to the video. So thank you ever so much for obviously sending in the questions and watching this video so far, especially if you have stuck around for all the waffling that's been going on. Um, I just thought I would close up and show you some of the bits that I got for Hallie for her holiday um, in Primark today because I know Primark's always good value. Um, but I thought these were really good and if your baby's got swimming lessons or swimming classes or you just want to go swimming or have a paddling pool in the garden or going on a holiday or whatever, I thought I would share these because I've also put them in the chat with my two friends that um, are also on maternity leave at the same time as me. So we're going abroad this year with house. Um, and to be honest, I don't know what they should be wearing. Um, I'm going to take it day by day and I'm going to get another one, maybe two for her. But I'm a stickler for sun cream anyway. So is Josh. We've both got fairly fair skin. So obviously she's going to be plastered in factor 50 the entire time. Um, but I've got a couple of options. So firstly, it's the Primark Disney range. Let me just check. I've got the right size. Um... And these were two cozies for £5.50. Um, I think the Primark own ones that were like pastel colours, I think one was striped and one was plain, were two for £4. But I went for the Disney one. So she's got a little lilac one here with mini mouse on it. And then this one is also Disney print. It's got mini mouse on. So she's got two cozies for the holiday um £5.50 I don't think that's bad and then she has also got a pair of the cutest little sunglasses which as you can see were £1.50 now I questioned and he said they'll be fine I questioned is that gonna fit on her head I might have to try them later it looks tiny but does it look tiny because I'm trying to compare it to like an adult head I don't know but they were £1.50 and they do say uv protection on there category three i don't know what category three is i might have to google that but yeah uv protection category three so bought those for her because if she's anything like me she'll need them all year round and then this one is also primark disney this is 11 pounds i swear this wasn't that much i might have to find my receipt I swear it wasn't that much. It was. I thought that was in the sale section. Either way, it's fine. Um, so this is the Disney section again. Um, but it's the little, what I, I call them scuba suits. I don't know what the correct term for them is. Maybe UV suit. So this is um, UV protection factor 40. So it's just stripey. That's the back. Zip at the back. I've had some with zip at the front, so that's very misleading. Um, it's another Minnie Mouse one. Um, and it comes with a little hat with the little neck guard as well, which I think is really cute. So I've also got that one for her to wear on holiday. So I think I'm going to get another one of these. Um, all the supermarkets have got them at the minute as well so easily gonna get one before holiday um but yeah just thought i'd show you those little summary bits because it actually made me feel like summer might be coming um but thank you ever so much for watching this video again and by all means send any questions through about the nursery stuff that we discussed or the half marathon stuff that we discussed and keep watching the videos and if you like them subscribe and share but thank you ever so much for sticking with me and I'll be back for another video soon.